Helen Keller was born in 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. At 19 months old, she contracted an illness that left her both deaf and blind. Despite this profound disability, Keller's fierce determination and intellect would enable her to overcome these challenges and achieve great things in her life. Keller's family hired a teacher named Ann Sullivan when she was just seven years old. Sullivan was a graduate of the Perkins School for the Blind and had herself been blind before regaining some of her sight. She began teaching Keller how to communicate using a system of finger spelling, where she would spell out words in Keller's hand. This was a breakthrough for Keller, as it enabled her to start learning about the world around her. Over time, Sullivan introduced Keller to more complex ideas, including literature and history. She taught Keller how to read using a system of raised print letters, and by the age of 10, Keller had learned to write using a special type of Braille typewriter. She also learned to speak, using her sense of touch to feel the vibrations of the words being spoken and mimic them herself. As Keller grew older, she became increasingly interested in advocating for the rights of people with disabilities. She began writing articles and giving speeches, advocating for the importance of education and the need for greater opportunities for people with disabilities. She also became involved in politics, campaigning for women's suffrage and labor rights. In 1903, Keller published her autobiography, The Story of My Life. The book was a huge success and brought her national recognition. She went on to publish numerous other books, including essays, memoirs, and works of fiction. Keller's activism took her all over the world. She met with world leaders, including President Woodrow Wilson and Mahatma Gandhi, and was a founding member of the American Civil Liberties Union. She continued to be a voice for disability rights throughout her life, advocating for greater access to education and employment opportunities. Helen Keller passed away in 1968 at the age of 87, but her legacy as an advocate for disability rights and her achievements as a writer and activist continue to inspire people to this day. Her life is a testament to the power of determination and perseverance in the face of adversity, and a reminder that anything is possible if we are willing to work hard and never give up.